What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. And you know I have a problem. I just met my little buddy back there. His name is Ham. We're here in St. Simon Island, Georgia, and they have a pier here. Well, we were gonna run offshore today and fish, but it was so windy, we're like, ah, oh. so we just sat around the house. Next thing you know, we found out they had a pier. So uh, I'm just gonna fish for whatever bites. When you're like cruising around, you see the notches in the wood? People put these notches here so that they lean the rod up and the rod doesn't fly over. But first, we gotta catch bait. I bummed some shrimp, some dead shrimp off of my buddy ham. It has no head, no tail, it's kind of squished. And I've got a small rod. This is a JYG rod, by the way. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, look at that, y'all. First bait in the water. I got, it. what do you call this? We call them yellowtails. A yellowtail. And I'm using a small chunk of lead and I drop it straight down the bottom. I'm just borrowing everything. This is the best way I know to catch a fish. You cannot catch him while sitting on the beach or sitting on the couch. It's gonna sit in the current, it's got a circle hook, it's got a lot of scent, and it's gonna work. It's windy and it's deep. It's probably 30 feet. I was using a heavy lead and who knows, it's deep. Now that I know it works, I've got a lead on the bottom, 30 pound leader. I wish I had like 15, but I don't, 30. And I have two hooks. The lead will take this down and this will sit out in the current. So hopefully it works as good the second time as it did the first time. It's got it. Oh yeah. Well yellow tail. It didn't go as far as I expected, but hey, it's good enough. Gotcha. You're not immune. <laughs> Rob. He's done. I leave for two seconds, he's got one on. <laughs> this is Hamp, by the way. He's our new friend. I think we were over in the pier, the wind was blowing so hard that like we couldn't concentrate. So I said, let's go to Rina. I said, the boat is right there. So he fished out of here a lot. We've got a, a trout that he caught. A, uh, we're gonna clean this and we're gonna have us a good time. Hopefully we catch a big fish. Do it, you might as well get something out for baby. And you don't put them on a Jenny Craig diet either. <laughs> Every time you hook that, they're huge. I can't get them up? Yeah, that, that's a one-time thing. No. Sure you went. That was a big one. I'll go get a 30. Yeah, that's what I did. 30. But yeah, 30. Or if you got a 50, we could use that. Well, I see he's an 80. Yeah, 80. So I was over at the boat and I looked over and he was getting demolished. This is the extra, extra heavy Shore Pro with the, with the uh, Shimano 10,000 on it, a Saragossa. So we want to find out what that is. This is the heaviest line I have. My guess is a Goliath grouper or a shark, some type of shark. But we're going to find out. Um, when it's windy, we get crazy. We're crazy now. 
Hey, put this in your pocket. We're gonna find out what lives down there. We want a big one. That's the bait. That's the hook. 400 pound test. And we're gonna find out, like, I think we gotta go shoeless. Figured it would. How deep is it right there? Maybe about six feet right now. We're changing our bait, y'all. The tactic remains the same. I had him, boy. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Oh my God, he's going with the circle jerk. I don't like it. That's 400. I just had a monster on, and it started to straighten out the J-hook. So we went with a with a circle that's like 10x strong. And we did a perfection loop with the lead up there. We're gonna find out. Like we're gonna find out. Oh. Better pull up my pants and get ready. Okay, because uh, I'm good. We've been fighting them things forever, man. Yeah? yeah? They're big. Yeah. <laughs> and four weeks and two days ago, I was in the ICU. A massive stroke. Yeah? Four weeks and two days ago. They are bad news, yeah. man. Worst thing I've been there. That right there is the singer. And if you look, it's got bad serrated. Like, like that thing, don't mess around. Now, once this is gone, you can mess with your fish. But even a dead stingray, they don't call them stingrays for nothing. Now, if you're ever having trouble finding real good bait for cobia, and you got access like inshore to catch some of these small skate rays, uh, you know, debarb them, keep them alive or whatever. But I'm gonna tell you, I've caught a number of cobia, and as you can see, we catch a lot of cobia here. And you'll find that them cobia, here? what's that? You have cobia here? Yeah, we got a couple. <laughs> and uh, them small skate rays are some of the best baits in the world because if you keep them alive, they're going to pump real good and they're going to show. But smaller the better. But I've seen as many as three skates in one cobia before. So a lot of them bigger fish like them bigger baits. You don't have to see them, but they will eat them because I found a number of them in a number of cobia's bellies for the last 30 or 40 years. They'll eat the heck out of them. Mark, if you guys want to come down here, this is the untapped territory. These are all his boats. You can get on one of these boats. You can go cobia, snapper, grouper, shark, redfish, tarpon, you name it. <laughs> I, don't, I guess that's filming right there. Yeah, look at there. I got everything going on, baby. Look at here. Oh my, look at there. There's one about 35, 40 pounds right there, y'all. Georgia is the unsung hero. 
All his information will be in the links below. Right here is where they fillet their fish. They come in, his other guy, Sean, is right there. They clean the fish. If you had one fish, what would you take me to catch? Well, it just depends on what you guys want to do. No, uh, if you had one fish, what would you take me to do? I'd say it'd probably be tarpon. And what time of the year? I would say August. Well, I'll see you in August. So now <laughs> I'm going on. I'm going tarpon fishing. Right. Hey, so we've got 25% of the fish. We're going to head up here to the restaurant. It's called the Coastal Kitchen. And the executive, the executive chef is named Archie. He's never cooked stingray before, but we're going to see what he has. Hey. You're gonna come up for lunch, right? Yes, sir. Come on. Jeez, that wind is cool. Yeah, that thing right there will go. I got me in the uh, that's the way. You wanna eat seafood down here in Southeast Georgia, you want a great place, Archie Coastal Kitchen. You can't it's, it's one of the places you must come when you come. Get the blackened we were supposed to go Cobia fishing, but the wind had a different story than that. So that Stingray is what you have to work with. Okay. So I'm gonna blacken some of it, I'm gonna fry some of it, I'm gonna put it with some different sauces. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more oil. Oh man, it smells so good. All right. So, honestly, So, come around here, like, tighten up. I'll take the ranch. I honestly think he had it for a day and hit it with a meat tenderizer and maybe a marinade. I think it's going to be pretty tough. Do you think it's going to be tough? I think it's going to be tough. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for today. Lord, thank you for loving me. Father, just thank you for all that you give and bless this food so it nourishes your body. And give us a good day. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. 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 That is amazing. That is good, good. Real good. I had the fried, like the fish has got a serration to it. That's really good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. This is as good as it gets. Delicious. Hey, it is unbelievable. <laughs> I told you, man, the black in here is amazing. And if you want to go fishing, Go by the charter dock and you can go inshore, offshore, whatever you want. This guy, he, he knows how to bend a rod, he knows how to have fun, and he knows how to make you smile. The ladies at the bar, everyone, like I love this place, man. I've had so much fun. And you know what they say, man? The fun has just begun. If all you got is stingray, you got enough. We're in St. Simon's Island and the fun has just begun. Take care, God bless, and we gone.